Hello! So, today we plan on um, not reviewing, c'est comment dire reviewing? Studying. Studying um, the code de la route to learn how to drive a car. Less about uh, learning how to drive than learning the rules of the Yeah, car. yeah. Learning how to drive will be afterward. We'll also uh, try to make some floor with chestnuts. Uh, so, basically, uh, in the Cévennes, where we, we are going to be uh, foraging for we hope the rest of our life. There are so much chestnuts. And there is this like dicton, like this saying, uh, that you cannot die in the seven because it's, there are ch chestnuts. And during the resistance, uh, during the regime de Vichy, it was invaded and became Nazi. And you can say under German. Yeah, the, uh, wait, yeah wait. Not German. Yes, it's, it's important. The, it's na like Nazi. Uh, how, how do you say Nazi in English? You just say Nazi. Nazi, <laughs> okay. That's it. So, um, we will pl we probably are planning uh, to learn how to cook and use chestnuts and because it's really abundant in the seven we we are going to try we found this tree near our house near uh, we found this uh, chestnut tree so we are going to try to make some floor for today that's the uh, two main thing and if anything other happened we can wait and we're going to take gump on a walk <laughs> i think she wasn't that happy to have the phone in front of her. No, well, she's really shy, so I think anything waved in front of her is making her look a lot much. <laughs> she, she, she got Aww, better. Oh, really you quick. want thanks? <laughs> Here we are in uh, what we call the forest, even if it's not a full fledged forest, it's basically just uh, bushes of green in the city. And here is the tree where, you, as you can see, there are a lot of fruits available. But we are not sure that taking the green ones is the best bet. On the other end, on the ground, there are some that have already fallen and that are a good brown color. So we are focusing on taking those. In between the different activities of the day, we are trying to study for the code de la route as we call it so we use this app for example who has a lot of training exercise that are a lot like the official exam for the code de la route so you have a question multiple possibility of answer and you are supposed to select them you need to have at least 35 answer correct out of 14 in the first series of questions there is only 10 questions that are asked I decided to finish all of them before going further and what it's really neat is that as you can see once I have answered every question they automatically give a full correction and explain additional tips and tricks to be able to answer correctly in the future even if the question is asked differently. It, of course we are not uh, sponsored at all by this application it's just that it's free and we found it and we wanted to show how we will try to pass the exam on our end without spending as much as possible. If you want to ask any question about what we use for the app or about anything else in our life, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Once you are done, you have a recapitulative of your score. Yesterday we got busy and we didn't get to finish but we still have some chestnut that we gathered and now i'm trying to learn how to peel them apparently after i got the needles off i'm supposed to be cooking them for some time and then a second peel should be able to take in half take in half and once it's dried after being cooked we should be able to smash them with a mortar like this one and once it's done, we should be able to have some chestnut flour. Okay, so I have already changed the uh, technique. I used the glove before, but I realized I was losing too much of my motricity. So now I just take them by hand and peel the pins off with two fingers. Basically, I'll, I pull in one hand and add another one. And whichever side give up first, is thrown away and then I use the strong grab I have on the first peel to try to peel another part until I have ah, I have a 
have um, a peeled chestnut. Of course, before I put anything in my mouth, I'm going to do one last check that the tree we got them from give us some edible fruit. This is later in the day, and as you can see, I finished the four first series of questions. This is the first one. You can see the second, third, and four that are already done, and I began the first series of this time 14 questions. There are a lot more of those kind of series, as you can see me with me scrolling down, up to 45 different series of questions, each of 40 questions. So that's 1,600 questions just for training. Okay, so I've been joined by Piu Piu, who is now helping me. Uh, Piu Piu just had an idea about a new technique to peel them. Basically stones. <laughs> stone <laughs> smashing <laughs> against stones. Yes, um, so we're going to show you in just a few seconds. So this one was really hard with uh, uh, Azrob's technique. So I tried something new. Basically a, a pillar and a mortar. Mo mo mortar. mortar yeah. Basically just smashing <laughs> until the um, like stuff that are the pin the pins can really easily be yeah, I get that. put off and then you can directly so there isn't even yeah. a need to be to cook them. You can just directly take the fruits and the edible part. That you can see right here. So I'm really impressed and uh, really, yes. really effective. <laughs> yes. And this one was like couldn't be open by like by hand. It was impossible to budge them. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. Okay, so now the update. We have basically filled this trash can with the pins, and we are left with this amount of peeled of chestnuts. And now we are going to try to see if just crushing them in the mortar will be enough to make them into flour. I've done now the first three series of 14 questions and my score tend to be a bit above 25, which is not bad, but not nearly enough to be able to assure myself that I will succeed in the official exam. In so now we are done. This is the current end result. It's still a bit moist, so it's harder to make it into a really dry flower. And in a few moments, there will be a lot of sun coming from there. So I hope it will dry them even further. And maybe we will grind them some more to make it look more like a flower flower. But currently we could basically cook it and eat them and it will still be nutritive. I'm really sad because I wanted to show you that we were in good company while playing Overwatch and we just missed because we are changing the angle that they ate something on my leg and I don't even know what.